What's up guys, today we're going to be doing a review on the Apex One. Um, I got this from a friend, it was actually bought at Yonkers before they went out of business. I think he got it for around $30. Um, this is going to be our first review on Underground RC Reviews. So, I mean, honestly, it's kind of a junkier car. It's kind of hard to tell in this picture, but it's red. I mean, just look at the tire quality, I can squeeze all the way down. I was looking at it earlier, and I accidentally went like that, and the tire came completely off. Um, we also took the body off, and underneath... Oh, oh it doesn't want to come off now. I'm going to have my assistant do that while I show you the... Uh... So, also the wheel, or the uh, steering wheel, doesn't turn real good. And I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it wiggles a lot. So then, you know, we get inside and we're like, oh, okay. So we unscrew this. I was like, wow, that's kind of junky. And, I mean, I don't know. So, the shocks barely work. And then in the front, it you can obviously see the wheels getting They'll cambered. they all the way down to the ground. So which I... Scuff up real easily. Definitely wouldn't recommend this. Yeah, definitely would scuff up. Um, if you can see, there are some scuffs, like, right here. So, yeah, definitely... Oh, yeah, there's some right here. Obviously not for, uh, using, or, like, off-roading and stuff, and big jumps. So then, uh, I'm going to show you the battery, too. So, you know, you just need a, uh, a Phillips. Oh, maybe it's good. Okay. Another thing about this is that, like, nothing wants, none of the screws come out very easily. So right now, I don't know if you can tell, but we're having some difficulties. Oh, there we go. So, look at this. So, it's just like a 8-cell battery, I'd say, because if you can count, there's 8 little batteries in there. But, so, as you can see, there's all this room on the sides of the battery so it, as it's in there it goes you know it shakes all around and stuff and makes a lot of noise and it's kind of a junkier battery I mean yeah it's mm, I don't know but other than that I mean I think since the store was going out of business my friend that gave me this car uh, I think he got it pretty cheap, just like thirty dollars. But other than that, I don't, I don't quite know. I mean, the antenna, Very small. it's pretty small, and I mean, I feel like if I super glued mess on with, there. yeah, it's super glued. I feel like if I mess with it anymore, it's gonna break. And if you can tell, there's super glue. Oh, it doesn't want to. It's not focusing. So there's super glue here super glue there I mean basically if we melted the car I feel like it'd come out about 20% like 90% super glue and the rest is just plastic but I mean I'd say it's fairly light it's about maybe a foot long then with the body the so if you can tell here get a better angle so see the body or you put the car it's about a foot you put the body on and it becomes, it adds about five inches on, or not five inches, about, probably about two to three more inches on each side. But I mean, I'd say it looks somewhat cool. I think later we might do a little customization to the body, uh, put some better wheels on. Because right now, it's, obviously I showed you guys these wheels are really junky. Right now we're going to take a wheel off. My assistant, Jack, will be doing that. So I mean, it's just a simple... Just a simple screw with a washer built into it. Let's see. Oh, yep, here's one. You know, just... Oh, darn. It keeps... Just one of those. So here we go. Take the wheel off. Now, obviously, it's sort of cool, but... I mean, yeah, listen. There's obviously nothing. Um... So see now, watch, I can just easily, 
Ah. So look at so there's no foam in it or anything. There's nothing here, so I mean, basically, I feel like it'd be really easy for the wheel to break. But yeah, and it's also weird because I mean, yeah, it's really easy to take off, but because of that, it's also sort of easy to put back in. Um, but, you know, we really wanted to do this video outside because it's just starting to get nice out again. So, I mean, maybe we'll do some more indoor, or maybe we'll do a couple more indoor videos. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, if you hear any background noises, obviously it's just the, uh, like, people... The weird thing that I think is, so here, can I see that? So, this side is definitely the deeper side. You guys can see that, I don't know. Camera's kind of junky. Looks like the battery's about to die. And then this side is the side with the 6X. You know, it's obviously a 6X because it's got six sides on it. Which I feel like, you know, since this side is uh, shorter, it should be with the 6 hex on the outside, but it's actually the 6 hex is on the inside, which, you know, I'm not too happy that, uh, it's kind of like a deep dish rim almost, but other than that, uh, it'd be pretty easy to customize, because it's, like I said a couple times, 6 hex, so, uh, it should be fairly easy to put some better wheels on. So, yeah, I think, this is the first video of one of many videos that we're going to make of underground RC reviews. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.